Hello the internet, my name's Lara and welcome back to my channel. So it has been getting a little bit cooler. Um, we are going into fall and I cannot believe how fast this year has gone and how slow this year has gone at the same time. I... yeah... but most of you know. So, anyway, it has been dawning on me slowly over the past couple of weeks that when it gets cold, I have to bring all of my plants inside. Um, and I have been neglecting my plants that are outside a little bit. So we're going to take a look at that. I'm going to have to, I don't know. I basically need to do some cleaning. Um, I need to water some pl these plants. I need to figure out which ones I really want to keep, where I'm going to put them inside. Um, I have the ones that are on my back driveway as well and those ones are going to have to come in even before these because these are at least under a um they're under a, an overhanging so if I like accidentally miss and and it frosts they won't die because you know they're at least not going to get frost on them because there's an overhang but anyway I got to figure out where everything's going to go and I don't even know right now um there's probably some more grow lights in my future. <laughs> um, but anyway, so this is just going to be kind of a whatever needs to happen kind of a video. And uh, yeah, so if you're interested in that, stick around. Okay, so some of these... I mean, like, some of these I've been taking good care of. Like, this guy's doing pretty well. He's put out a couple new leaves for me since I've had him. Um, and then he's even got, like, a new growth point going on over there. Um, but things like this lavender scallops, as beautiful as it is, I just, I don't like the way that it grows. Uh, and I just snapped that right off there. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to try and trim it back and maybe keep a little bit of it or if I just kind of want to get rid of it. Um, I feel like I was having some trouble with keeping things watered out here and really, like, you know, this very obviously is looking like it hasn't been watered in a really long time. This finally started growing. I don't know if you guys remember this. I got this at the beginning of the year and it was just kind of bleh, um, and now it has finally started growing now that we're going into fall, so, um, and I have a whole bunch of, I just have a whole bunch of stuff here, my, uh, aloe pink blush is currently blooming, um, my ficus, this is my ficus burgundy has grown, like, so much this year, I can't even believe how much it has grown this year, um, like, we were, we were somewhere down around here, I think. And so it's grown all of these new leaves. Um, still doing well. Some of these other guys. My little um, Peperomia graviolenses that I just, I kind of need to figure out what I'm going to do with them. I don't need all of them. My ghosties are doing good. I think next year I'll definitely be able to have a, just a, like a basket of them. Um, this Warthia is doing, I don't know, well and poorly at the same time. I mean, it's finally, when they're out here, they definitely grow the tighter clusters. All of this, these long leaves are from when they're inside during the winter. And so I'm not sure, I really need to figure out what I can do to keep up a nice growth pattern on these Haworthia during the winter because, you know, it, a summer is not a, enough to fix the, all the, like, just wild growth. Um, I might need to get some sort of actual real grow light. Maybe maybe I'll be able to get enough wattage into them that they'll be happy because Haworthias don't need a ton of light in the first place. There's There's got to be a way to do it. Um, these guys have actually come out looking really, really nice. They looked really kind of crappy at the beginning of the year. They had a whole bunch of these leaves that had some sort of damage on them. And this is like one of the last of those leaves. It's got, it flowered. Um, I 
miss taking a picture of that, but um, it's been doing really, really well. And I've got, what do I have, three plants? Um, I might end up potting all of these up together and just having like one big thing of it. This, this guy I still absolutely love. He's getting a little tall. I'm wondering if I can't just like trim and like replant it so that it's shorter again. And this guy has just been loving life. <laughs> My little firestorm sedum that I just kind of leave here and every once in a while I give it a splash of water and it colors up so beautifully out here and it just it just kind of is, has grown. I think whatever this is might not actually be a firestorm sedum. It just kind of ended up in there with the rest of them because see how it's, it's not the same or whatever, but he lives in there now, so there he is. Um, oh, and then, of course, the cordyline has come back beautifully. Look at that new leaf that is, like, um, basically all pink. Um, but it's been getting, it's been doing so well, but only outside. Um, so, I'm not, I don't know, part of me wants to just leave it outside, and see if it survives the wind. I mean, it's going to die back either way. If I take it inside, it's going to die back. If I don't take it inside, it's going to... It'll probably die in the cold. Oh, and then we got... I have had so much problems with these string of dolphins. Um, I mean, it's still alive, but... It just... Yeah. It's still kind of alive. Oop. And then that just fell out because I've been... Alright, I think... I'm just going to have to go and try and root that in some water. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I saw a string of dolphins at Lowe's the other day, but it was really, really just terrible. So, um, let's see. My little ginger is still down there. My dracaena has been doing great. Um... It's just been happy. I mean, it's just growing. Um, I have a little arrangement down there. This guy has been doing amazingly. I'm probably going to have to trim a whole bunch of him off just because he's so long. But, I mean, yeah. He lost a bit of his color, I think, because it's usually a lot more of the purple like this. I think he loses some of the color with as much sun as I have him in. But, I mean, the plant is growing and it's healthy. So, I really can't complain. And, uh, my Nanook. It still has the habit of getting these stupid little crispy ends like this. But it's growing fine. So, I, I figure I'm just going to kind of leave it alone. <laughs> um, it's been getting a lot of new growth. And a lot of the new growth doesn't seem to have the crispies on it. But I just, I don't know. So I figure we're just going to leave it alone. We're going to let it grow. It's going to get however big it's going to get. And um, this one's really in demand for trading. So I, I, I stopped trading it because I felt bad about sending it when it's got these little crispies on it. But, I mean, if the plant is healthy, I don't know. Maybe it's fine. And then we've got my little agave over here who I just kind of shoved over here and forgot about um the leaves never really got all that much wider um could see it was putting out some really really narrow leaves because it wasn't getting enough sun so this guy might have to go out on the driveway next year so that it gets more sun I'll have to figure it out um because it's just so pretty and it it definitely have I have definitely not given it too much sun at any point so um and really really I need to clean all this up a lot of this came back here when I um when my backyard got dug up so that they were fixing it all and it's just kind of all been sitting here that is my mess but yeah I really need to because I don't want all this stuff just out here over the winter because it's windy and it's cold and it's yucky and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of moving stuff inside. Yay. Oh, I also did move a couple of plants up here. I have my Philodendron Silver Sword, which I just, I'm trading a cutting of on Monday. 
Um, so I'm basically just going to take the top off of it and um, send this node to the person I'm trading with and then I'm going to root this guy for myself and I want to try and have like two plants so that it's a little fuller. Um, I have this Begonia Lucerna that just kind of grew a lot. I have the one downstairs obviously. Um, this one was the extra cutting, the extra cutting, and then it shot off its own system and I'd like to trade it with somebody but um, and then I have my Begonia Etna which I think it's been getting a little bit less light and some of the leaves kind of have this like see the leaves are normally like all black with the pink and then I have some that have the green with the silver dots and then it fades into the black with the the pink and I think I just think that's really pretty um, I mean I, I really like these two obviously but this is also pretty so I like both and Argon has come over here to say hi. Hello, Argon. What a cutie you are. Um, and then I have my, this is the mother snake plant um, that just kind of sits in this corner and the cat likes hiding behind it. Um, and it's put on a decent amount of new growth this year too. Sorry, this is so dark. Let's see, do I have a light here? I do. Um, it's put on a whole bunch of new growth. All of these lighter colored leaves um, are the new growth. And then, you know, as they get older, they turn in, turn into this darker color, which is kind of cool. Um, but it's been doing really well, except for the time that I watered it. And one of the, one of the um, plants, because there's a bunch of different plants in here, one of the plants, the whole thing just went yellow because I had overwatered it. So I'm just leaving it now and I'm going to wait and see if it wants to be watered like later. <laughs> and I also put my Philodendron Brazil up on the shelf just because I wanted to get some more plants up in here. And some of these leaves, like that is one of my favorite leaves. I think that's just really gorgeous. And this one here and that one um it's just been doing really really well um and i'm just kind of letting it grow and seeing what it does and luckily the cats the cats haven't really messed with any of my plants which is really nice so hello yeah uh-huh are you on camera they want to be fed because it is morning time and usually they get fed, so. But you're waiting until I'm done. <laughs> yes, yes you are. I'm sorry. Uh-huh, now they think they're going to be fed because I'm heading over toward the food bowl. <laughs> Alright, so downstairs. Um, I am really proud of this. I got a new African poly and it literally, it's like putting out a new leaf. Like... I, the last one just kind of died without ever doing anything and now I, I'm actually getting a new leaf and I'm just so proud because, yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I have this setup which is, um, I had some hanging baskets on it if you guys remember from like uh, forever ago. I've been using it for some of my taller plants, obviously. Um, and that seems to be working pretty well, uh, but I feel like, because I'm not even sure that this will hold my uh, Tritoscanthia, that huge Tritoscanthia anymore. Um, it'll probably hold some of the smaller things like the string of bananas and the string of dolphins and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this. That's why I said I might I need to end up getting some more grow lights. Um, I also, if you remember, ignore the mess, please. I'm actually putting up shelves in my closet. Those are the shelves that I went to get. Um, I had my Regal Shield over here in a little, um, cage, PVC cage that I had created that held a, a grow light. So it's currently over there. I'm probably going to put that back up. I'm not sure that I have, I might have more plants that then it will handle now um that's why 
I don't know. We're, we're just going to have to see. And then obviously I've got my window over here kind of filling up. This begonia lucerna that I absolutely adore. But of course it takes up a lot of space. Um, and, you know, like I have a couple of begonias that just kind of splay everywhere. I'm wondering if I shouldn't just cut off some of these. Because these leaves are very upright, and then these leaves are just kind of splayed all over the place. But, I don't know. I don't really want to cut it for no reason. Um, and then I have, obviously, my whole shelving unit where everything is fairly, like, it's got space right now. And then, I like, my Peter Piper, um just kind of spread out all over the place and so I'm gonna have to reorganize how everything's on here same thing with these guys I feel like these plants actually man look at the color on that leaf isn't that gorgeous I love it so much um but these plants because they're so big I feel like I need to have them in something like this where it's, they've got some more space and then put smaller plants back over here um, I mean, it's not like I don't have space in here. It's just I kind of like how everything's not too cluttered. Um, I don't know. It looks, man, I love my plants. Now I'm just sitting here. That's my, now I'm just sitting here loving my plants. <laughs> uh, I guess technically I have the upper shelf up there too. Sorry about the light. Ugh. The upper shelf up here, where if I put something up there, like a light or something like that, I could technically have more plants up there. I had some up there for a while, um, but they um, it, it basically was a light thing. They weren't getting enough enough of the light that I wanted up there, so I'm not sure exactly. I guess technically I could do. I mean, it would be really ugly, but I could do a PVC thing up so that it's just a... <laughs> PVC really is handy for things like that, but I could probably just attach a PVC thing up there and then and then I would have a light. Oh, I feel like I would need to paint it black, though, or else it would be ugly. <laughs> so anyway, um, and then I've got this space here, which I feel like I could also utilize. I have the humidifier on there which I haven't been using since um, summer because my humidity stays pretty nice over the summer um, but maybe I could do something there and put some grow lights on it <sighs> and then I almost feel like I, I, I was going to use this table for a workspace and I ended up never really using it for a workspace. I, I use this guy over here. This is where I tape from. Obviously, there's my little taping. Um, and I really kind of like that. Though, I got to do something about the windows. I'm thinking maybe I'll put some um, curtains over it. Some blackout curtains that I can put down while I'm filming. And then just pull back up um, when I'm not filming. Because I just... I. I don't know, I just really like this space so much for filming, just with the plants behind me and everything. <sighs> but anyway, I feel like I need to, I could better utilize this space here. Um, I mean, technically, I might be able to get another one of these shelves, because they're not all that expensive, and just admit that I'm going to completely shelf up this window as well. Um... Yeah, I guess it's not, it's not that I don't have space, it's just that it, I feel like it's getting really cluttered. I mean, I guess that's just what happens though, isn't it? Get plants and then you need place to put the plants. Anyway, if you guys have any suggestions, something I haven't thought of, obviously shelves are the easy way to do it, but you know, if you think of um, some better ways to do stuff, that would be very useful and helpful. Now, now actually looking at all this, I'm a little bit like just overwhelmed with everything that I have to do. So I'll probably have to sit down and make a list 
of all the things that I need to do in order to get all this stuff back in here. Okay, so I have moved some stuff around, as you can see. Um, I have some shorter-ish plants there. Um, I filled that all up there. The succulent, that one hasn't changed very much at all, except that I put the Hindu rope up here, so. Um, and then I took everything off of this, except for my Begonia Griffin and the Cebu Blue. The Cebu Blue is probably going to move somewhere else, but right now it's there. I put all my Begonia plants that are of a decent size up here, and then my little seedling Begonias. This is just here until I figure out where I want to put it. And I got those two succulents down there. Um, so I've got some space where I'm going to move some of the plants from outside in. Um, oh, and then obviously I, I moved some taller stuff over here, which has made it quite crowded. I also repotted um, the syndapsis all together. Um, it was in two different pots and I put it together and I had this hanging basket. So I figured why the heck not. Um, the pot's a little big for all of it, but you know what? It'll be fine. Um, and then all the rest of this stuff is going. So, and then that really hasn't changed much. Like I said, I'm still going to see if I want to put some shelves there or what I'm going to do. But um, we're going to have some 40 degree over the night thing, uh, nights next week. Um, so, I don't necessarily want to bring all my plants in. But, um, I mean, I definitely won't bring all of them in. I might bring some of them in, uh, just to make sure that they don't get caught being too cold. So, that, I think, is most of what I'm going to do for the day, though. Um, mostly it was about getting everything watered. Um, I ended up not t filming any of the nitty-gritty like I thought I was going to. I just decided not to, so... Sorry about that for you guys, but you just get to see the end result, so that's okay. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and like this video. And if you want to stick around, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye-bye.